Hey YouTube, welcome back to Update Speed Test. Here sitting at my car dealership waiting for my uh, Subaru Ascent to get a nail taken out of its tire. Let's see how all three providers do here in Vestal, New York, a notoriously bad spot for at least Verizon Wireless. Start out with T-Mobile. Crushing it, great ping time. Loaded ping time is good for the most part. One millisecond jitter, wild. Uh, All right, we're switched over to Verizon. Verizon again, of course, no 5G, just quite yet. Running LTE only. And uh, of course I'm getting a notice about my tire pressure because the car is uh, out in the shop getting work done. Getting about 5.5 on the down, 5.59, 49 millisecond ping, horrific loaded jitter, or loaded ping time. Sorry, I just woke up, it's like eight in the morning. And terrible upload. So there's Verizon for you. And uh, I will switch over to Boost Infinite next and we'll see how they're doing. All right, we're switched over to Boost Infinite. Keep in mind, Boost is lowest priority on AT&T, so take the results with a grain of salt. All right, not bad. My $25 Boost Infinite line is kicking the pants off my get more plan at the moment. I believe AT&T does have a small cell around the corner from here, but I could be wrong. Ping time is not great. Loaded ping times are not good either. So there's Boost Infinite running on AT&T.